Hey guys, happy Saturday. We have our powerlifting work. Uh, we're gonna have deadlifts and some banded Russian kettlebell swings. So I'll go over that. Main thing here is um, only four sets every two and a half minutes. So we're gonna take some time to build up, start with some weight on the bar. Okay, it's gonna be around 75% for five reps. We're looking for good speed off the ground for every single rep. All right, so deadlift setup, feet are under the hips, nice flat back. From the side, you see my shins are about vertical, all right? Nice lock back, squeeze at the top, good control on the way down. Okay, I stopped at the bottom. If you wanna do touch and go, that's fine. Keep that bar nice and close to the body for five reps. If you have any low back issues or you're really tight where you can't get to the bottom because you're rounding your back, if you do a sumo stance, that can help with, with that position. It's less stress on the low back, doesn't require as much mobility. Okay, so you can do the same thing with a uh, sumo stance. Okay, now the banded Russian swing. Let me show you how you set this up. What you're gonna do is just like we set up on a normal pull-up bar, right? We're gonna put this through, sort of look like this, okay? So you still have full access to the handle, okay? The excess, <clears throat> the excess band, you're gonna place under your feet. Now what's gonna happen here, we're doing a Russian swing. The band is gonna give us resistance at the top and then it's also gonna pull us back down. So it creates a more dynamic environment, right? So we have to work hard in our core and it's gonna speed up the movement a little bit on the downward side. So you have to be explosive on the way up and then control that speed on the way down. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so you stand up like normal, start with the hip swing back. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta really, to get it through the tension of the band, you have to really explode up and then control the speed on the way down, all right? Um, if you're not comfortable with the band, of course, just do a regular Russian swing, totally fine. Uh, remember, if you're watching from the side, the hip should be going back and forward, not up and down, all right? So really focus on that good hip hinge, driving, squeezing the butt, squeezing the quads, and that is our strength today. Let's talk about conditioning. So our conditioning today, another great combo. We got running, some dumbbell work. So it's gonna start off with a 400 meter run. You're gonna do 20 dumbbell burpee deadlifts, then a 200 meter run, 30 dumbbell box step overs, 200 meter run. The hardest part will be this part is the 20 hang dumbbell snatches, and then finish the workout with another 400 meter run. All right, so let's go through the dumbbell movements. The um, dumbbell burpee deadlift. So it's a burpee at the bottom, all right? Chest, the thighs touch the floor, jump forward, and then stand up with the dumbbells, all right? So this one will be pretty straightforward, easy movement, nice grind, get through it. This will just get you tired, okay? You're gonna go on a run, come back, you got 30 box step overs. So remember with the box step over, you can use the weight to your advantage. So push the weight out in front of you, kind of swing, let it pull you up, stay low, step off, and try to keep that nice rhythm without standing up. You don't wanna stand all the way up on top of the box, because then it's more effort up, and coming down. You don't wanna run away from the box either. So try to be efficient, staying low, tight core, get that foot on, turn as you go over. Okay, you got 30 step overs to do. All right, the last one, like I said in the beginning here, the hardest one's gonna be that, particularly if you go heavy, is the 20 um, dual hang snatch. So this is like, you've ever done a devil's press? like the finish of the devil's press. So you don't want the dumbbells to go far away from the body. You're gonna hinge back, swing, and notice how I keep it close to my body and press at the top. Okay? So, very similar in movement to what we did in the strength portion with the kettlebell. Back is nice and flat, hips go back, big drive, shrug, finish at the top, okay? So that is our conditioning for today, guys. See you tomorrow.